We are here at Naples Bar and Grill, which is uh, in downtown Disney, very, very close to the entrance to Grand California. Uh, I'm going to show you some pictures from the menu that I have. There are some items that are marked automatically gluten-free. I have told them about my allergies. They also said they have a corn rigatoni, which I can use to replace any of the sauces in the items that have uh, that are pasta-based. Um, except you can't do meatballs. Um, you can't do any of the breaded things. In this, they could do the salmon option you see there, but they would have to take out, uh, replace the pasta with like potatoes or something like that. So there are some options there in addition to the appetizers they've shown, the salads that they've shown. It's not a wine variety, but I've heard some good things about the food options here, so we're gonna give it a try. Dr. ordered the Blanco Limon Negroni. So it's Malfi Limone, Italicus, and Lilith Blanc. <laughs> It is very Negroni with a lemon twist on it. I'm going to give it a stir. I know in Florida they are notorious for not stirring their drinks. And last night's drink at the Grand Californian also was in desperate need of a stir. I do think that makes a difference. Huge difference. All the sugar that was sitting in the bottom it's now moved up. It is still a very bitter cocktail and very lemony, but I like it. I might not get another one, but it's a nice. It's a nice, Negronis are kind of a strong drink anyway. <clears throat> it's kind of cool. All right. Um, center upper palate, right toward the back, towards when you're going to feel it, and it's got a nice burn going down the throat. But it's subtle. It's not like the coughing. Well, other than that cough, it's not like you're coughing badly. So, um, <clears throat> in terms of the menu. It's not a ton for gluten-free. However, they do have polenta as a side dish, which is gluten-free, and I asked if they could do bolognese sauce over polenta like I did at Terralina. We'll see. Um, if not, I'm probably gonna try to do a simple pasta uh, with the rigatoni, just because I'm, I keep looking at their carbonara, which I'm sure is great, but the carbonara is, um, it's okay. But the carbonara is, uh, it's always so heavy because of the cream sauce. One of my cohorts here got the uh, Italian margarita. Um, I'm gonna try to find a spot that doesn't have a whole lot of, of uh, salt because I'm not big on salt in my margaritas. And we're gonna see what it's like. It is like an orange cream skull. It's very orangey, sweet, but not overly sugary, but it's definitely sweet, probably sweeter than mine. And it's got a creamy texture to it. Not thick, dense creamy, not like viscous or anything, but just like kind of a smooth, mellow. That's actually a really nice balanced blend, and that's also an option, option for you. All right, so I have ordered the polenta with the bolognese. I have asked them, they have a cannoli on special, if they can give me cannoli cream without the shell as a dessert, because most of the others are a lot of cross-contamination risk. And my vegetarian friend got these polenta ravioli. My can-eat-everything, we're jealous of her friend, got the burrata and a Brussels sprouts with pancetta, prosciutto. Um, technically, I can eat both of the things she got, so I may get her opinions on those. They are gluten-free. And we'll let you know what we think when the things start showing up. Um, I got the, uh, I, they did a modified item for me, but they did the bolognese over the side dish of polenta. And that's what I have here. Um, also, I'm going to show you the Brussels sprouts with bacon that, um, the pancetta actually, I think, is what they, no, with prosciutto, which is, uh, grass has. And then uh, the vegetarian got a, a ravioli, so I can't show you that, but everything else is good. So, here we go trying polenta. So it's a soft polenta with the bolognese sauce, so it's got the carrots, the mirepoix, all that in there. It's very fun. The polenta itself, let me see if I can get some just kind of alone. Soft polenta. Not a ton of salt in it, not a ton of the salt in the sauce either. So I am going to recommend that you get cheese on top because the cheese is what's adding the saltiness to it. But this is a perfectly lovely meal. Um, the burrata, I'm going to show you a picture of 
and that came with that bread, but they can make it gluten-free. I'm not sure what that modification is, and I can find out for you. And then um, Grass is going to try her Brussels sprouts and tell me what she thinks of them. Uh -huh. I added the cheese to it as well. So that taste is taking forever because they're very al dente. Oh. And a little bitter. Oh. Are they not good? I don't know if it could just be the one I got. But I mean, that's hard to stab. Mm. And I added the Parmesan. And added the Parmesan. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're really hard. Okay. So, barely, barely kind of caramelized blanched, but not enough. And there's no... It's not made with balsamic, as far as I can tell, which I'm used to in my Brussels sprouts. Yeah. It is. I didn't get any of this in... But I remember that yeah, the prosciutto is fine. I'm just, I feel like it's not cooked enough. Maybe. Okay. I can ask you about it. Okay. Um, did you want to try your burrata? Okay. I can do that. I know that's good. I had it last night okay. when we snuck in here before you got to the resort. I didn't remember. Burrata is one of my favorite things. And it's basically mozzarella, so it's the good for diabetic. Alright. Yeah, see, I don't know how you could possibly ruin burrata. It's just so creamy and delicious. And the balsamic glaze is always a good a good contrast. And the blistered tomatoes, are they sweet or sour? They're just I'm going to have to make a decision on that because they're not so cooked that they become sweeter. You know how that happens when you roast tomatoes? They don't go over the edge into being really sweet. It's so good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they don't go sweet at all, actually. They're not on the fire long enough for that, I guess. Okay, so it's a light blister. All right. Did you want to tell us what you think of it? This is not gluten-free. Don't eat this. It's but really it. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's almost dessert-like because okay. the polenta is very sweet. Oh, interesting. It's very, very sweet. The cream sauce with it is really nice. Um, they must have kept my tomatoes in a little longer because mine are sweet. Okay. And the, the corn and zucchini on there, are, they're just really nice. But it is very dessert-like. It's a very sweet bowl. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So there you have it for the entrees. Hopefully you saw her there. And um, we're going to finish this, and then we'll let you know what we're doing about dessert. Okay. So a picture of the bill is going to go right here. Um, now, they, we separate out the bills. They were able to do that. There are no discounts. They also don't take Disney gift cards for payment. Uh, but you'll see there, I've got the Negroni at 18. They only charge me for the side of polenta and the meat sauce on it. So, I mean, I, they didn't even treat it like an entree. It was filling, to be completely frank. Was it, you know, if you're a huge appetite person, is it going to handle that? Mm, probably not. Um, but it was very tasty. I was happy with that. I was expecting them to charge me as an entree. But they really didn't, so I'm all good with that. It is limited. Yeah, we saw them play If you are good with simple appetizers, and I mean very classic basic appetizers, rigatoni with either a meat sauce or a cream sauce or something, and that's it, yeah, we're good here. They do not have pizzas, they don't have anything special there, so it's not a wide variety, but the quality of the food is good. Um, and she did get fresh Brussels sprouts, and they were better. They were uneven. There were some that were more crunchy and a little bitter, but mo most of these were better in this round. So this has helped you figure out uh, how to eat gluten-free when you are at a Disney park or in downtown Disney here in California in Anaheim. Please give this a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. And don't forget the... I don't have a tagline. Sing
singing hey ho a maiden's life one two three hey ho a maiden's life won't you drink with me